All right, hey YouTube, what's up? It's your girl. Happy Monday. Happy Motivational Month Freaking Money. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're not new, thank y'all for joining back in. I've been gone for about three, four weeks. I've been gone. I just been off. I've been off the tube for like three, four weeks now, and I wanted to come back on here and I wanted to talk today about, you know, all of the things that are glorified within, um, you know, the spiritual community when it comes to spiritual awakenings. And um, this is something that I've wanted to talk on and touch on and make a video about for a while now, um, but being just the last month and everything that's been happening, um, and we'll get there later on in the video, but I just thought that this fit really best for, um, you know, what I am coming back on to do. So before we get into the video, you guys already know what to do. Make sure you guys show love. And um, we'll just get straight into the video. So I do got notes today. And I also have a passage from the old book, like the OG. Um, oh, I don't know if you see, yeah, you didn't see that, but this bookmark just popped out at me. Ooh, the energy side today. Um, so this is about understanding. And the more I understand, the more my world expands. I am constantly increasing my understanding. I am teachable. Every day I open my awareness a little more to the divine wisdom within me. I am glad to be alive and so grateful for the good that has come to me. Life to me is an education. Every day I open my mind and my heart as a child does and I discover new insights, new people, new viewpoints, and new ways to understand what's happening around me and within me. My human mind may not always understand at first, Understanding seems to require a lot of love and patience. My new mental skills are really helping me feel more at ease with all of the changes this incredible school of life here on planet Earth. So, I really like this passage today because you guys know I don't really like, this isn't a book. Uh, I don't really read this book. Um, it's just more so like, you know, whenever I'm feeling up to it, I'll just flip through and see whatever passage is for me and you know today i was mon it's monday and you guys know i always like to do my little motivation on mondays um and i just i like to get up on here on mondays i like to start the week off good on a good note um especially if i'm doing a video so i flipped to this page and i was like yeah today's the day today's really the day that we're going to talk about you know just the glorifications um you know that people we're just going to talk about how people glorify the spiritual awakening and just the realities of it and the actualities of it. So, um, you know, before we get into this video, for real, for real, guys, I want to, you know, I got a little thingy up here and I'm going to have to get a new one because I definitely wrote with real marker. I thought it was like a marker that was supposed to go on there, but it's not. So, um, yeah, this is probably the last time you'll see him, but we're going to get a new one. But I have some affirmations up here and I want you guys to like say these out loud or write them down, repeat them in your head, say them in your head to yourself in the mirror, because these are just great, especially after what we talk about today. I hope that you guys have more of an understanding, um, you know, just about certain things that, you know, will happen and, um, you know, will continue to happen um, on your journey called life. So it says, I am radiant and receptive of pure positive energy. So as long as I know that all of my intentions are pure and all of my energy is positive, and, you know, even, even if I'm not feeling the most positive, as long as I know my intentions are pure, you know, I'm very radiant of that and I'm very receptive of that as well. I accept myself for where and who I am now. I accept myself. It is really important to accept yourself, especially during the process that we are going to talk about right now. So let me pull up my notes. Okay. So really why I want to make this video because, you know, obviously the last month I had, you know, took my little space from YouTube and just, you know, went through the motions of life. I was back and forth from Florida for a little bit and then I went home, had to, you know, handle some things and then I came back to Arizona and, um, you know, I just really wasn't feeling myself. I wasn't just, I wasn't feeling it. I wasn't feeling anything. Like I wasn't even feeling like talking to people. I wasn't feeling social media. I wasn't feeling the mountains even, you know, not even the foods I was eating, you know, just really wasn't feeling it. And it really took me until I actually went to an eye doctor specialist because, you know, your girl been having some things going on. And I was like, this isn't, this has nothing to do with depression, anxiety, eating, me going blind. It has nothing to do with that. It has everything to do with my awakening. I'm just, I'm just going through another phase of my awakening and I'm just, I just need to experience this. And that's all there is to it. Um, so a lot of the things I'm going to be comparing today is of a video that I made about a month ago 
when I was in Florida. It's like a seven minute video. It's called the experiencing the process. So I'm going to be referring to that video a lot. So if you guys haven't watched it and you guys want to watch it, good video. It's seven minutes really quick. Um, but you know, a lot of people are like, dang, like you fall off, you fell off YouTube, you fell off YouTube, you didn't fell off. And I was like, I mean, I didn't really fall off of YouTube. You know, I kind of just fell off of my spiritual awakening a little bit, you know, or not my spiritual awakening. I fell off of my spiritual journey a little bit. And I, I just wanted to, you know, have some bullet points of, you know, what, what, what that kind of looks like, what that kind of means, you know, um, for me, uh, I wasn't really reading as consistently. Um, I wasn't writing how I should be writing every day. And that was with my affirmations, my gratefuls, and just my um, manifestations and my reflections for the day. Um, I wasn't really sticking to my morning routine. I, um, you know, wasn't being consistently aware of you know my reactions or my um responses to thir certain things and um you know it, it also for me looked like just my eating was off you know like i wasn't i wasn't really craving anything um and you know like i feel like that's just something that a lot of people talk about is like those I don't even like using the word those ugly sides, the not the not fun part about, you know, going through your spiritual journey. Um, and a lot of that looks like, you know, not eating or overeating, lack of energy or overstimulated. Go, 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 go. I got to do this and I got to do that. I got to do that. You know, overstimulated energy. Um, it can it can look like feeling waves of sadness or fear or feeling lost unexcited you know you don't really you're on you, you know the things that excite you normally just don't really excite you you don't really care to do that or go be around those people um not having interest in what you're normally interested in and you know giving excuses um as to why you feel a certain way or um you know how you're feeling like for instance you know if you're just not really feeling like getting out of bed one day or maybe for the week, you know, giving an excuse. Well, I'm really depressed. No, you're you're not depressed. You are not depressed. You're going through your journey. Like this is the process. And I feel like that's kind of where, you know, we as people kind of get confused. And that's where we get really thrown off. Is when we think that this spiritual process is just being a positive, happy person. 100% of the time and that's just not what this looks like and that's just the reality of it like you're not going to be happy 100% of the time you're not going to be positive 100% of the time and you're going to go through waves of those days or weeks or months where you're feeling off you're not feeling yourself you're not feeling interested in the things you're interested in you're feeling lost you're feeling detached you know what I'm saying and um, then we give excuses for them. Well, it's because I've been depressed. And now that we've given an excuse to what has been going on um, with a negative dis-ease or feeling, we continue to have that negative self-talk. So now that I've you know, told myself that I'm depressed, now I can also tell myself that I hate the way I feel. And now that I've told myself I hate the way I feel, now I told myself that I'm completely lost and I fell off track. And now I'm harping on myself and I'm conti it's continuing to worsen and worsen. And that negative self-talk again is coming back. And I'm not saying it's the easiest to talk to yourself positively while you're feeling these things, but I think what we fail to do is feel the feelings and experience that process. Like I said, guys, that process isn't always the most comfortable, but I always say this, you have to grow, you have to get comfortable being uncomfortable. I don't, I don't, I'm not a lay around type person. I don't like being in the house all the time. I live alone. I don't like being in the house all the time. I'm, I'm not trying to lay in my bed all the time. I don't even hang out in my room like that. I actually just set up this little area in my room because I was like, I'm switching it up. I'm getting comfortable with being uncomfortable. I'm getting comfortable with switching shit up that doesn't really feel normal because that's what I, that's what for me right now to get out of this, to get out of how I've been feeling lately and to really, really push myself out of it. I have to, this is what I have to do for myself. Um, I wanted to, you know, um, add this in that this bullet point that I have is, um, you know, getting back up and at it again is intimidating, but you can either stay where you're at or you can rise above. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of times people will get to a point in their spirit or, you know, their spiritual journey where they do get to that point where they're just feeling, you know, either overstimulated or lack of energy or, you know what I'm saying? They're starting to realize certain things are off or they're not on their routine no more. And then they're like, oh, well, you know, I tried it before and it just didn't work out for me. So at that point, 
you choose to stay where you're at and grow no further or you decide to rise above. You know, sometimes it's not always easy when I'm doing very good on YouTube. I'm very consistent. What I'm talking about makes sense. Everything is flowing. And then I fall off and I have to get back on. And now this is my third retake on this. And I had to take down notes because I couldn't do it how I used to be able to do it. I couldn't just get on here and talk and free flow like I was able to do it when I was back on here about a month ago. But I know that I want to rise above this. I don't want to keep going further. I want to keep being... I want to keep showing out and showing up on YouTube. So I need to rise above, you know, feeling out those feelings. Don't run because this is all a part of the journey. You know, a lot of times people will, will run, you know, they will, they will, they will separate themselves from certain people or certain things. And then they will fall into this lack of energy or overstimulated energy or, you know, this part of the journey and they go back to those people or they, they go back to those things or experiences and then again it's a cycle again guys I've talked about this cycle so many times and it's all about being aware that this is a part of the journey and not harping on yourself too much about it and I'm not going to sit here and say that oh there's days where you know I don't harp on myself no like there's days where I'm like I'm opting out of the matrix I'm good Tie that rope on the like ceiling fan. And I'm so dead ass. I'm being so transparent right now. And it's not even like, oh, I'm sad. Like, I, I can't no longer do this. It's just like, damn, like, this is really what it takes. Like, all this work. There's times where I don't want to go no further. I want to cancel the game. Take me out. Like, I'm done. But I, I also have to, you know, let myself feel those feelings. Because if I don't feel all these feelings that I've never felt before in a conscious mindset, how will I be able to grow as a conscious, aware human being? Do you guys get what I'm saying? You felt the feeling of feeling lost. You felt the feeling of fear. You felt the feeling of being sad. But you have not felt that while being a conscious human being, at least not in this journey. And that's why people will continue to go through different journeys. You will feel all these feelings in your spiritual journey and then you'll get knocked down and you got to experience a, a, a certain experience or a different feeling or the loss of something. And now you have to experience all those feelings again as a new person because you just done elevated. You just done elevated after an experience, after a, a, an experience, after a loss, after a hold, uh, after a, a change in your life, you are a new person. You, you peel off a new part of your skin. Now you have to relearn with that new part of your skin missing those feelings of feeling lost. Those feelings of feeling lack of energy or overstimulated. You, that, this is a part of the process. This is a part of the experience. This is what it comes with. Not all the feelings are fun to feel. I, I don't like feeling, I don't like feeling the feeling of, I had to really write this down. I don't like feeling the feeling of sadness. You guys think I like being sad? I mean, I'm a cancer, so I'm used to it. So that one, like, that one doesn't really count. But I don't like feeling the fe feeling of feeling lost where I'm like, what is my purpose in life? Like, I feel so lost. Like, am I doing what I'm supposed to be doing? Like, what should I be doing? Like, what do I want to do? Do I want to keep doing this? I don't like feeling that way. But I know it's a feeling that I have to feel because I just shed a new part of my skin. So now I have to refill that feeling without this part of my skin there. If that makes sense. I also wrote this down. Your path may not look like everybody else's. You know what I'm saying? Your path's not going to look like your best friend. Your path's not going to look like your mom. Your path's not going to look like your grandma. Your path's not going to look like this, the, the person that you related to so much in history class. Your path isn't going to look like the girl on social media or the boy that's all over social media. Your path isn't going to look like anybody else's ever, period. Your path is going to be different. And I feel like sometimes that's also what people will kind of get down or get too hard on themselves about is, well, you know, oh, well, I've seen Lexi, you know, she'll go through a month of, you know, going through whatever she got to go through, but she still gets back on YouTube and back in better than ever. We're not the same. We are not the same. We're going to go through different experiences. We're going to experience this process differently and we're going to get through this process differently. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, guys, comparison is the root of all evil. Once you start comparing yourself, comparing this to that, comparing people to something, comparing, it's, it, it's all bad. It's all bad. Understanding different emotions and feelings and experiences is the process. 
the process isn't just you growing, 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 growing. The process is you growing, growing, dang, now I'm kind of at a stuck standstill, but I'm still aware that this is still part of the process. So now no matter what, I'm still going to level up a little bit more. I'm still going to level up. Even if I'm at that standstill, I'm still up. I'm still up because I'm higher than I was before. I might grow, 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 stop. But I'm still at the highest point and the highest point of consciousness that I was at before because I am not going to let myself just fall off because I'm not feeling the best. Because I'm not feeling positive 100% of the time. Because I'm not feeling like, oh, this is my passion still. Because I'm feeling lost. I'm still, I'm still ahead. I'm still all there. You know what I'm saying? This is the process. This is the experience. You know, and then I also put down allowing yourself to have those ups and downs. You guys have to allow, you guys can't expect to be this, you know, I mean, we all are perfect people, but you can't just expect to be this perfectly happy person. A perfect person is not happy 100% of the time. A perfect person is somebody that just allows and accepts themselves for where and who they are. Hence why I had this. I accept myself for where I, where and who I am now. I accept myself for the life that I'm living now and the era that I'm in with my life right now and the place that I'm in right now. I accept myself for who I am now. No, I'm not near the potential that I could be at, but I accept myself for who I am now. And that's, that's really like what I want to just, you know, have this message come across is like, it's okay to feel different feelings, guys. It's okay to go through experiences, whether you view them as good or bad, or you know what I'm saying, whatever you get from those experiences, every experience is there to give you a lesson, is there to teach you something and every emotion as well you know i feel like sometimes we don't really look at emotions and experiences the same but every emotion you you feel is just it's just there to give you a lesson you know what i'm saying you feeling lost is just there to give you a lesson okay i, I was feeling lost before but now i'm not lost i was feeling lost the last two weeks like i didn't know what i wanted to do i didn't even know if i could get back on youtube but i'm not lost no more i know exactly where i want to be and exactly where i'm going it's okay it's a part of the process. It's a part of the experience, y'all. Um, if you guys have any questions, please put them below. Like I said, guys, I done took this video three times. I'm not perfect, but I really wanted to come up here and just shed light on some things that I have been going through going forward, um, you know, just in my channel. And I wanted to just shed light on just, you know, don't listen to all the glorified things when it comes to, you know, just spirituality over social media. It's, it's not, not every experience is something to glorify. Not every emotion is something to glorify and not every day even, not every day of the spiritual journey and, and this process called life is even something to glorify. But you know, the best we can do is always just remain grateful, be grateful to even wake up, be grateful to even feel that feeling of feeling fear or sadness or anger or frustration. Be grateful. And that's all, that's all, you know, the advice that I can really give is, you know, sometimes it's not easy, but just be grateful. Um... And I had this right here, guys, as my reminder. Um, write down three I am affirmations for today. You know, it's not always easy to tell yourself, you know, positive things and really believe those. But it's super crucial to tell yourself them anyways. Especially on the days where you're not feeling it. Especially those days where you're like, fuck this. Especially those days where you're like, yeah, I look like shit. Especially those days where you don't even want to look at yourself in the mirror or you don't even want to hear yourself, hear your thoughts. Those are the days. Those are the days, especially where you need to tell yourself, I am powerful. I am accepting of myself. I am fearful or I am fearless. Guys, don't listen to me. I am fearless. I am sending you guys an immense amount of love especially if you're coming back and you guys know i haven't been on here last month i'm sending you guys so much love thank you guys for just always just you know showing love and support and i'm sending you guys blessings i probably won't be posting anytime this week i'm gonna just keep it to mondays right now and not overwhelm myself but we'll see because you guys know i always just pop up with the video so we'll see but i will see you guys when i post next i uh, love and have a good day